All right, y'all. So um, here we go. As promised, our um, divine feminine's message now, right? Because I know y'all. Uh oh, 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 oh. Our lights still went out. Because I know yesterday y'all was like, wait a minute, sis. <laughs> uh, you got the guys ready. <laughs> Can you get us, can you get us right? <laughs> Tell them what our message is, please. Come on, come on. Y'all got to settle down. See, that's what the Divine Masculine was telling you yesterday. Slow down, sis. <laughs> Slow down. Can I get a moment? Okay, I'm going to shuffle these right here behind me because the way I got this camera set up, it's uncomfortable and I got to shuffle for real. I can't play around with spirit just so y'all can see it. So here's the message. What's the message from the divine feminine to the divine masculine? We're going to look at um, what the divine. Um, I'm sorry, I be getting on here sometimes. And I don't introduce myself, but when I get on here, I be trying to do work. OK, um, I'm ashes. OK, if you don't know now, you know, I love you. Um, rediscovering of who you are in your authentic self is the message that I come to bear. So if that's that's something that you're in need of, stay. If not, blessings to you along your way. So um, what it, we're going to check what the divine feminine is saying to the masculine. Okay, honey, talk to him then. Yes, center of it, right? Um, we're going to talk about what... Mm, that came out in the masculine card too. Um, we're going to talk about... I'm going to reshuffle because I'm in between two cards and I'm not sure. So spirit, give clarity. This third card here for the divine feminine's message to the masculine and then we're going to see what the divine masculine's position is in the situation here um that could be the energy or an actual masculine man okay because you have to take that and, and dictate that to your own wisdom unless spirit tells me to to you know decipher between i'm just going to give the messages i give it um and then we'll do the outcome of the situation at hand when it comes to the divine masculine and divine feminine energy thank you for making it clear spirit that one jumped out. It was like, you can't make the decision. Boom, there you go. <laughs> so, okay, for some of the divine feminine, you're not being very clear on making the decision. Spirit has asked you several times um, to be very clear. Ooh, this kind of bites my bucket. <laughs> what did I just say? That kind of like, you know, bite me in the ass. It's like, okay, spirit is like, yeah, give the message, but you ain't got to play this one back. I'm talking to you right now. <laughs> um you know spirit is kind of saying you know you can't make a choice i've asked you several times exactly what it is that you want and you still seem to be um a bit shaky and unsure um or indecisive one day you're very adamant in wanting this and the next day you know you're wanting something else um This is divine feminine's message to the divine masculine. But right now, this top part, because we can't get into no other energy showing up until we've rectified our own space, right? So for the divine feminine, we've got soulmate. We've got um, spiritual growth. We've got Archangel Michael um, bringing clarity because, you know, Archangel Michael come to cut through some shit, okay? <laughs> Playing no games. Divine masculine, we've got signs, body care, serenity. And now we're just going to pull. We'll get into the reading after I pull everything. Um, for right now the base of what we got and then uh, we'll pull lastly for what is the situation's end or outcome or you know opportunities that it unveils and opens up doesn't have to be uh, an actual ending if you will it's like you get to the blessing like it's an ending I've been wanting this it manifests it's the ending oh no but just just but just a beginning <laughs> but just a beginning honey let me show you something <laughs> okay spirits about no game celebration there I love it I know that's the abundance card because I know what she looked like. That bottom of the deck wanted to come out. The outcome, that listening got to be in there because there's got to be, you know, balance in that thing, okay? Um, I just looked on the top of the deck just to be nosy and it was truth and integrity. And y'all know truth and integrity came out when the masculine was speaking, okay? <laughs> They ain't got time for it. Like, they here. <laughs> Can we, let, let us get through the feminine first, okay? So it seemed like everybody a little jumpy. Like, the Divine Masculine reading was like, okay, you know, spirit saying, you know, calm down, calm down, you know, let, let me get my time. But now here that we get ready to do a Divine Feminine reading to the Masculine, it's like the Masculine energy all in a way. Calm your ass down now, okay? <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, so Divine Feminine, 
I know this is for you and we can't even get to you because divine masculine is like all in the space like uh, okay um I guess he come to the room like um excuse me okay um you want hold the door open for you or you want me hold the door open for you okay so you want me hold the door open for you okay you want me a lady okay okay so then um let me lead I got come through the room first then if you want me to address the protection in the room if you want me to provide a conducive space for you if if you know you want me to listen to you. You want me to be the gentleman, open the door. Well, then don't I got to hit the room first? So it's like, it's not, oh, ladies, we can't get into you. Divine masculine is saying, uh-uh, uh-uh. You want the divine masculine. Let the divine masculine come through the room first. So, okay, sir. <laughs> okay, sirs, come through the room then, okay? <laughs> Ancestors don't play about them, okay? <laughs> divine masculines are not playing right now okay so let's get into it then ladies okay <laughs> humbly submit <laughs> body care serenity signs okay these are the, th the three cards that we see for the divine masculine so what is this telling us spirit about the position of the divine masculine either in our personal space or in terms of actual interactions with masculine energy which may be um, in our space, which could be mindful, be females that have an overabundance of, you know, overwhelming amount of masculine energy and need to settle down and balance things out. So when it comes to body care spirit, what is this that you're saying? Because ladies, oh, body care was the center card. If we could, I wish I could look at the video right now, but let's divine masculine. So uh, let me know, but I'm going to go back and check myself. But this body care card, I believe, was in the center for the Divine Masculine's message to us before. Um, and it's still here. So this is true. So one, this is giving this is giving reassurance to who, whatever lady, Divine Feminine here is, you know, needing to have this listening here for yourself. Hearing what it is that Spirit is saying, Okay. Because this has already showed up. So the masculine is reiterating a thing that was already just said to bring you into awareness of how this fits into this message that even you have for the divine masculine. Because remember, divine masculine talked about how we're reflective one to another. So that's why the divine masculine is saying, okay, I can show up first because it is a reflective thing. Let me come into the room, right? Um, let me get things aligned. Let, let me show you some signs of some things, okay? I want to show you some things. Remember in the, the masculine reading when we had the new love card with the two arrows that were pointing down and I said that was spirit and that was your, your divine masculine shooting at you. They was already ready. They waiting on you. Spirit had them on hold. Remember he had this in the hangman position. All, all the same messages are still coming out. Abundance was there, wasn't it? If it wasn't abundance, it was like miracles or something like an unto it and so a soulmate. So one, two, three, three cards for sure and I think a fourth card which would be an angel number, which is going to be your, your, your space of serenity over here and your celebration here. Okay. Archangel Michael come through two times as the angel, because this shows up as Archangel for me too. Archangel Michael come to cut through all of that. And Archangel Michael is the divine protector. If anybody's going to protect the divine feminine, I'm telling you, Archangel Michael's the one. Archangel's been like ride or die with me for forever. So anybody that's connected to me, he, he's already coming through to cut through the bullshit. So this is when, when divine masculine was talking about spirit putting, putting the masculine on hold. Wait, waiting to see exactly where the divine feminine is and divine feminine let me tell you sis okay <laughs> okay you coming through dripping okay you coming through dripping how do i know you coming through dripping number one because anytime okay soulmate connection that that is all the way in tune to yourself that's why archangel michael got to come through like this girl uh honey i told you you healed you good when i send in the divine masculine this time you're not picking them we, we, you know spirit is sending them in relax Divine masculine might be a business opportunity or something else or whatever, right? It's just a little bit more playful and people can resonate with relationships more. But then take this shit as a relationship and apply it to other parts of your life, right? Not just a man in a relationship. But but it is fun to, to do it in that manner. Plus, people can understand it. it's a little bit more palatable. But please know that this soulmate connection is about inside yourself too. Because remember, soulmates come in and they're teaching us lessons. They're, 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 they're soulmates, right um 
the, these are these are moments that that we're learning a thing which is why this listening is here this is this is somebody that's in your life and it, it really don't have to be a man it could be somebody that carries a lot of masculine energy but but what is the lessons that i've learned of myself in that in my situation my own self now how can i approach this with the spiritual growth anything that i can't handle myself archangel michael will come in my stead and cut through the shit if this is an actual divine masculine coming in then spirit is saying, okay, even you can see from the divine masculine reading, the message to the feminine was here. Making sure that the divine feminine was ready, right? Archangel Michael says, go ahead and leap into it because anything that's not conducive, you already know I got you. I'm the keeper for when they walk into the covenant, meaning, you know, like a wedding, you know, you're making this covenant with yourself, your business opportunity or with a, with a man. Obviously, because this is divine feminine it, talking to the masculine. Archangel Michael is saying, yo, I be at the gate while people walk into the wedding. And I be right there beside you. When when you when you're when you're up there to say I do, it, it, it'll be nice peace for you. He's going to offer peace for you. you. You'll be protected. He, he knows he knows the softness. Of, of what it is to care for the feminine. I've taught him well. <laughs> Where do you think his training came from? The warriors here. You got your training from the feminine energy. You don't, you don't know about all of the work that he did over here. I, I handled that. He's the divine masculine. Let, let him in. We're, we're going to show you signs. Spirit want to show you signs. He want to give you signs so that you know that it's him. You, you're not going to be running in this blank, sis. It's not going to be as scary as you think it's going to be. That's why Spirit had this right here for the masculine waiting. Not that not ready. He's been prepared. Feminine, where are you at? Feminine, where are you at? Because this is the feminine message. That this, is, this is the divine feminine to the masculine. Yet and still masculine and spirit are still talking. This is feminine learning spiritual growth. Learning to just sit and bask in the feminine and not always trying to take on masculine energy and what I need to do. You don't need to do nothing but rest. The masculine's waiting on you, has to approach you, has been prepared. You 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 just into yourself in tune to yourself, soulmate of a lifetime to yourself, as you're spiritually growing. Now Archangel Michael has cut through whatever things to make sure you clear and is now offering. Because the masculine has already gotten themselves in a place where God approves. Archangel Michael approves. You see what I'm saying? It's like it, it, even if you're fatherless, spirit has stepped in to say, yeah, as you as you journey here, divine feminine is saying, I've journeyed now. Archangel Michael is saying, yeah, but it, there's such indecision that you, how are you going to deliver a message to him? No, no, no. That's what the divine masculine says. Spirit does not get ready to have the divine masculine come and you not be prepared. So Archangel Michael is cutting through the things that need to be cut through for you and letting you know, hey, little sis, I'm not going to let nothing come in and harm you. I'm going to spirit. We're sending you signs, but your divine masculine is going to begin to send you signs as well so that you are full aware because the divine masculine must do exactly what I'm doing or exceeding and abundant. And Archangel Michael ain't nobody that's sitting around all careless talking about, yeah, you're going to defeat me. He's a fucking warrior. So he ain't just letting nobody surpass him. So whoever he's allowed to come through to get in your space as the divine masculine, best believe, sis, he better be suited and booted because uh, he's not coming through otherwise unless you let him. But this one here, Archangel Michael is saying, okay, we don't cut through all of anything. You know, he has to be what I am or be more to you. Meaning he has to care for everything about your feelings. He has to be very mindful of who you are. He's been groomed by me, by spirit, concerning you. And we've had him all whole waiting for you, divine feminine, because like at the beginning of this reading, remember, spirit said, what is it that you're really wanting, right? Clear, cut, and dry. Learning to some of, some of us, learning to be patient and, and just be the divine feminine. And not trying to, all this production of things, just sit. Let the masculine be the masculine and you be the feminine. And here you see the outcome is celebration. Yeah. 
The outcome is listening. The outcome is abundance. Okay. Oh, y'all can't really see that that good, can you? I got my camera jacked up in the wrong place. But here you go. Quick fix. Y'all can see that, can't you? All right. Abundance is still down there a little bit low, but I'm telling y'all what's going on. So. All right. So this one over here is abundance if you can't see it. I think that's the only one. Okay. And then everything else I think is clear now. Okay. So outcome, celebration, listening, abundance. What is this um, divine feminine? Divine feminine, it's like um, the masculine energy wants to speak on your behalf and show you things. And you just need to sit and hold tight so that you can be shown. Instead of trying to be the one to make the progress. Instead of trying to be the one to make the productivity. Be the feminine and allow it to come to you. It should be coming to you. You should not be chasing it. You should not be running after it. And I ain't just talking no man. I'm talking life. You are the divine feminine. You birth things. You bring things out into the world. And then it comes back to you when it is in need of, of, of source, in need of nurturing. You know what I mean? In need of, in need of wisdom, in, in need of recharging. In need of the abundance that only the feminine energy can bring. And I don't just mean women. I mean feminine energy. But I'm also talking to women. So get to it. Okay. Divine feminine energy speaking to the masculine. And here, ladies, we are to be still. Because you're not voicing much here. And it's not that you don't have valid things to say. Because mind you, we're talking about people that are ready for relationships too. Okay. We're not talking about unhealed, broken people trying to get into this thing. Okay. That's, that's not it. Okay, let me be clear about that because you shouldn't be tuned into this reading if your spirit ain't right to allow nobody in because that's who I'm talking to. So let's not make no never mind. Maybe I should make a disclaimer every video because people be looking for a love of a lifetime and ain't done no work to be the love of the lifetime of they self soulmate. That means in tune to yourself first. That ain't no, that ain't including nobody else. And if it does it ain't include nobody but spirit it ain't no human man. I can tell you that for sure. Okay, so this group is for people that have done their work for real and, and are open. Archangel Michael and Spirit has orchestrated some things that if, you know, the divine masculine is what you want to show up, this, you can come on in. But you need to be making sure that you're, you know, paying attention to the one that I'm sending and not the one that you might want. Okay, because what you want then got you in some sticky motherfucking places, right? celebration is the outcome listening and abundance and then we're going to pull from hopefully hear from the divine feminine because the masculine is like <laughs> it ain't even funny sis okay because it's me too because i'm divine feminine so don't even worry about it okay so celebration and abundance okay hello but it, there's a level of listening um there is always going to be an intimate level of listening that the divine feminine has to have with archangel michael right he's always been the protector um it's, it's almost like a father giving away the daughter. It's like a transaction. If Archangel Michael is willing to do that, then you bet your bottom dollar this one is solid gold. If Archangel Michael or that relationship you have veers off a bit or whoever in your spiritual life is, is that protector kind of space. Archangel Michael on an angel level is mine. And then I've got Joe who is on my spiritual team just like for when I do work like this, you know spiritual work because you know you have some evil negative shit that try to seep in stuff like that so that's joe he come with me everywhere i go you know what i'm saying every reading but on a higher spiritual level is archangel michael you see what i'm saying so knowing who your team is knowing um who your archangel michael is if you will right for other religions cultures they call archangel michael something different uh, when it was introduced to me it was archangel michael and so that's the rapport we built i've learned knowledge of other things that are more applicable to my culture as a black woman uh, but I don't change the name in which it was introduced to me because of it, because that is the relationship I built and I just keep it there. So put whatever name the archangel would be for you, you know, based on how you believe, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't get fickle over shit like that. But listening to Archangel Michael is going to be pivotal for you. But Archangel Michael is not going to be talking to you like y'all been used to talking where he guiding you to get away from people. Archangel Michael trying to get you hip to the fact always of any moment that there's always going to be signs for you. This masculine is always going to be giving you signs that you are wanted, that you are, you know, cared for, but not out of a brokenness for you, out of a deserving. You, you've done the work, woman. 
let 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 the masculine be masculine the masculine is all about productivity they're bringing a thing they are external they carry the pillar right they come into the the sacred womb space you know they come in with an offer of marriage it has nothing to do with is the man better than the woman it is a balance of a thing you've got to settle yourself enough because now you are at a, at a spiritual space where you can understand exactly what all that is about and why but always keep your ear listening to archangel michael and the more you find yourself listening to archangel michael you're going to realize that your divine masculine has literally become the essence of archangel michael meaning the more you're listening and in tune to Archangel and the more you're in tune to hearing your, your divine masculine, one day you're going to look up and you're going to realize, damn, you look a lot like Archangel Michael. You make me feel a lot like Archangel Michael. You are literally my divine masculine. You've always been here. I encapsulated your energy in something that I could understand. You were able to channel the energy that I needed. This is how you know it's divine. You channeled from something that was feeding and edifying me while the masculine sitting and waiting and, and you're growing, Here, here's Archangel Michael who, who is channeling that energy for him to be able to, to pick up the real essence of who you are. And I'll always show you signs because I'll always be getting the same loads, downloads I always have. Only now I have the opportunity to actually show them, manifest tangibly for you. What I have dreamt about, because remember that dreamt card, same color red, a little darker came out for the masculine reading. The masculine has always been desiring to show you all that I've channeled to be able to show you just how special I know you are. So, so you know, just, I, I recognize just how much work you put in to get where you are. We're always going to be celebrating. I'll always celebrate break everything about the lunar energy, the water energy. This is everything feminine. I'll always care for it and keep it in perfect peace. So the divine masculine is literally waiting on the divine feminine to realize it. And you're going to realize it. It's going to open the floodgates of abundance in your heart and in your life because you will realize. This is what the divine feminine, uh, if a masculine is watching, this is what divine feminine is afraid of. I can hear spirit saying it clear as a bell. That's what the hell, that's why you won't make no decision. And that's why spirit for the divine masculine reading, they were talking to you about being held up and they're waiting on you. That's why Archangel Michael is clearing the way to say, girl, I'm giving you clearance to go. This is it. This is him. We need you to feel this, you know, rejuvenate, you know, birth a thing. And in order to birth a thing, you have to let the masculine energy in. And this don't have to be literal birthing a thing, right? Y'all know I'm the rebirth, so that's all things spiritual. You know what I'm saying? Um, but there's an overwhelming abundance that's going to come in. A lot of tears, a lot of joy, tears. Not hurt, but joy. Just I cannot... You know, you come home from a regular day. He come home from a regular day of work and like you just like, you know, already like soon as you hear the doorknob, you, you're, you're in tears. It's just your feminine is, is abundantly all over the place. I, I've been listening all day at, at the words that you said to me before you left this morning when you when you prayed over me. You know, when when we talked, uh, you know, last night, those those words when you were making love to me are still in my mind all, all day today. And I've been listening. You just you, you make me feel so protected. Right. Um. You, you, you make me feel so in tune to who I am as a female. I can, I've never, I've never been able to relax my, my shoulders and, and, you know, just be feminine. I'm, I'm, I'm in tune to everything on the inside today. I'm, I was able to watch over you and the children in a spiritual way today. Every, everything about the feminine in me was able to relax and just be today. And I'm just grateful to you, you know, my King, my, my divine masculine that, that you got up today, you know, with, with the sun energy that we all needed to to procure our our creativity. And and now that you are home, I, I want to make sure that that your rest feels like true rest. Right. I, I can hear your heart because I've been resting with it all day. This is how the abundance of the home dwells. Divine feminine. What's your last word to say to the masculine? Because you need to speak. <laughs> Girl. Because the divine masculine been all up over you, okay? Was this even your reading, girls? <laughs> Listen at me. I'm saying y'all now, now. <laughs> but us, okay? <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Spirit, spirit, play. Because I'm telling you, okay? Masculine come to play. No games, but come to play with you, girl, okay? We've got house number four. Didn't four come up while ago? Something about... um. I don't know when it came up, but four was, you know, the angels and all. So I just wanted to make that clear. 
And then we also got fish, with com which comes out here, uh, number seven. Okay, so we got four and we got seven. That's 11. That's divine alignment if we combine them together, right? Yes, that's 11 together. So that's house, that's fish. That's all things um, family oriented, really, okay, is what I see here. Family oriented things really coming together in divine alignment. Um, this, this divine feminine is really, um, really wanting to send a message that um, the idea of that closeness, that, that togetherness... Um, Look, I'll just be a nosy. <laughs> Top of the deck. <laughs> Number 10. <laughs> Man, uh, Divine Masculine. <laughs> Come to the room. Why did Divine Masculine have to end the clothes like that? Okay. Honey, whoever your Divine Masculine is, okay, just please tap him on the back and say, okay, we recognize you're a king, okay? Because he, when he comes through, oh, these signs are going to be so clear. He is not ashamed about it in any kind of way like oh that's all that's what you want oh a truck i got it covered okay I, i've been trained for this they show me you okay i'm prepared for for everything you'll pull out your box i'm just i'm just waiting hangman waiting for for the moment to be able to show you that part oh she thought that was great she thought that was like wait 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 she don't know spirit show me this she's never seen she's never been fully connected and charged by the divine masculine and spirit has chose him to be one that's going to assist furthering that healing that you've already collected and balanced within yourself and and he is a very blatant out there see he even got a house here he said that's something i already came with that, that's what you ask him for the family uh -huh. life <laughs> that's regular man shit I'm, I, I came to edify you on a whole nother level that whole regular man shit oh he got all of that <laughs> I come to do a new thing. Don't don't you know who I hang out with? Okay, didn't you say Archangel and and you know God? No, okay, that'd be me. I was sent. Okay, I was sent. Please stay in tune and listen, Divine Feminine. This is your message to the Divine Masculine, but it's really the Divine Masculine speaking to you because again, he's in the hangman position, waiting for you, Divine Masculine. Please do come through the room. Um, and we thank you for closing the reading out saying like, um, okay, I got this. <laughs> so he even standing in the stead right now for you in your indecisiveness, just, you know, Archangel Michael already then told me he talked to you. So here I come. Yeah, I come in this thing. That, that's all you want. Like, you don't even know yet. Let me, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, Divine Feminine, you need that. We <laughs> obviously need that. So, um. Uh, Come through the room. Divine Masculine in their reading said, why you keep asking for it and you're scared of it? And then in your reading, Spirit is saying, I keep asking you what you want, just like that Divine Masculine. And you'd you be, you be indecisive or unclear or not sure or add to or take away or whatever. We get ready to put some structure on that thing. We get ready to stamp that thing. Come, I'm going to send you some signs. It's, it's time for you to live in your abundance of things. It's time for you to really embrace, uh, you know, the, the full idea of what this divine feminine is and you're only going to be able to do that match with the divine masculine that i paired for you so masculine come through the room okay <laughs> that's that okay that is definitely that y'all um it's been real this is the divine feminine uh supposed message to the masculine but masculine kind of came in and took charge and we okay with that okay <laughs> peace out